going on, everyone? Another year, another Dodgers disappointment. Um, now, it's only one game. It's only the first game. Dodgers can obviously come back, look good the rest of the way, win the series. It's not the end of the world. But it's just like, come on, man. This was an absolute smacker. The Diamondbacks just laid it into us, won 11-2. Clayton Kershaw, I really hope that this isn't how he goes out. Because this was just a embarrassing display. Embarrassing. Right? I mean, he doesn't even make it out of the first six hits, six runs, six earned runs before he even gets an out. Right? It's just the, the Arizona's the, what, fifth team in baseball history, something like that, that has registered five plus runs without a single out. Like, it was, it was a disaster in every sense of the term. And it just seems like it's like every year Dodgers are right there and they just <laughs> just fumble the bag. And, you know, I don't want to get too high on just one loss, right? But, look, we have seen plenty of teams ride that hot streak and end up winning a World Series or just eliminate a team that they might have not otherwise. Arizona is absolutely hot right now. They are on fire. They are looking very good. They are playing excellent baseball right now in a time that they need to play excellent baseball. And the Dodgers have a history of being really good all season, everything looking good, and then just crumbling at the seams when it matters. And there's already a lot of concerns with the Dodgers, right? I mean, even from their bats to their pitching. Right? Even their pitching isn't great. I mean, Dave Roberts, we're just waiting for him to do something completely useless and cost us a game. Although I do think he's managed this season better than he has maybe ever. He's been very good for the most part. He still has his blemishes. I still don't know why he's the Dodgers manager. They should have gotten rid of that guy a long time ago. But I'll give credit where credit's due. He's done a better job managing this season's Dodgers than I think he ever has in his tenure, in his career. And I, look, I've criticized Dave Roberts a lot. I have rant videos on this channel of me just going in on Dave Roberts. But it's just, this is, we're at that stage right now where it's like, okay, like you can see the fire or you can see the smoke. Start. Let's, let's put it like that. You can see the smoke and you know the fire if it's not put out, is going to build. You know, you you have your basically your two main guys in Mookie Betts, Red Freeman, who are the only guys that seem to show up with any regularity. Guys need to start putting it together. Like you've had guys like like I think like JD Martinez. I think that he's he was like a real just gem for the Dodgers this year, right? In all in all scopes, right? I think the Dodgers have been really good for him this year. I think he's been really good for the Dodgers. I think, like, that's been a really solid pickup. Like, I think their batting is fine. Guys just need to start picking it up and start, you know, hitting some balls here, right? And not every at-bat has to be a grand slam. Like, sometimes singles are just as good, especially when you rally a couple. Right, but the pitching is a real concern. The Diamondbacks are just on absolute fire right now. They are playing some excellent baseball, and they're riding a high. And again, we've seen teams that nobody thought was going to do anything get into the wild card, go in, and then, I mean, it's just you see teams that they just get at to the right moment, and that's it. But again, it, it's one game. I don't want to, you know, pack it in. That's it. It's over. You know, Dodgers are finished. But it is definitely something that is very concerning, right? You got the hot team that fully believes that they can get it done that just hammered the Dodgers. I mean, good old-fashioned, behind the barn, just behind beaten, go sit down, <laughs> You know, the, the big boys are playing type game. And 
the Dodgers just kind of look lost. And I get, I mean, give up nine runs in what, like the first three innings or two innings, I'm sorry. First two innings, you give up, what, six in the first and three in the second. It's not a good way to start. You know, you're down 9-0 already. They did the rest of the way clean it up a little bit, right? Gave up, uh, you know, two runs the rest of the way. But still, I mean, you can't have these starts. You can't have these starts where the game is basically over at time. And the Dodgers seem to love to kind of just play catch up this year in particular, right? It seems like more times than not, Dodgers are down like, you know, 2 0 or whatever. It's like, okay, like, don't worry. In the eighth inning, we're, you know, we're, we're locked to go get a couple runs. Like, you know, you can always count on the Dodgers to score like clockwork. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. Dodgers always really seem to, you know, put a couple runs up. They did it in this game, right? Eighth inning, they go get two runs. Just you watch Dodgers enough, you'll see that pattern, that trend of like, okay, yeah, eighth inning, Dodgers are going to go get a run or two. They don't get it in the eighth, they're going to go get it in the ninth, right? Like, it's just how it goes. And that's kind of what it seems like they rely on at times. They rely on like, oh, like, don't worry, we're going to, we're going to, the runs are going to start falling at some point. Right, rather than like, hey, let's let's play some good baseball out there, you know, let's let's manage this game properly. You know, we don't have to go and try to slam it out of the park every every time we're at bat. We have plenty of hitters, a lot of solid just batters that can really make an impact on the game. Let the game unfold. Stop trying to play catch up. Stop, you know, allowing things to happen. But, you know, especially with Kershaw, it's just, it was just sad to see it out there. Like, he just, it, it's, it looked like that game where it's like, okay, you just, you just don't have it anymore. And I look, I'm hoping that it's just, it was bad. All pitchers have it. You know, the bad game that you just, you wish you could have back. Nothing seems to be going your way. As I mentioned several times in this video, you're playing a hot Arizona team that has been lighting it up and hitting the ball very well, you know, and it's just like you, you kind of fall into that, you know, time place and it's just you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, wrong moment, whatever. But my other concern too is Dave Roberts loves to lean on Kershaw too much. I mean, he's done it as long as they've been together, right? Like, um, what was it? Uh, like three, four years ago now, there was that that game where we it was, I believe, a game seven. It might have been the Astros series where we lost, but where like we were right there, everything was good. Kershaw pitched, things were great. He was up in the count. Shouldn't should have called it a night. And we get to the, what is it, eighth, ninth inning or whatever. Again, this is like four years ago now, so I might be a little off on this. But point is, is that, you know, you, you should have stuck to the script and you probably win. And instead, Dave Roberts puts Kershaw in after like coming off of like a high pitch count. And, and what happens? He gives up them cheats, right? He, he, he likes to rely too much on Kershaw. And it's he believes that he's still that guy, and it's very possible that he's not anymore. And that's fine. That doesn't mean he can't be serviceable. It doesn't mean he can't be good in spots. But the idea of like Kershaw is, you know, the number one, be all end all, the the hero that that the city needs. I just I, I don't think he's that guy anymore, unfortunately. And. I, again, I really hope that this isn't how he goes out. I really hope that he gets another opportunity, you know, and can kind of show the bounce back. I don't think he's like completely washed, right? He's had, he had a great season in spots and he's had great moments and stuff still. Like, I still think he has something left in the tank. I just don't think he's that, you know, lockdown ace where it was like, you know, this guy's best pitcher in the league type guy. I think that, they need that the Dodgers, specifically Dave Roberts, needs to understand that and needs to not lean so heavily. Don't be afraid to pull the plug early on Kershaw. If he doesn't have it, get him out of there. Right? Like you don't have to let him go and 
blow up for 10 runs before it's like, all right, well, I think we should probably take Clay now. Like, you know, did a good job. Oh, he only gave up 10 runs. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, take him out of the game. Like, what are we doing here? But again, I don't want to, I don't want to go on too much of a crazy rant. Believe me, there's a big part of me that just wants to yell and scream and just go, what are the Dodgers doing here? But it's one game. We'll take the lump, brush it off, get back to business. Let's go, let's go rally and get this, get this win back. Even the series, right the ship, things will be good. But it does kind of feel like, you know, this is one of those things where you're like, yep, this is the Dodgers. <laughs> Right, another year, another you know, underwhelming moment, another underwhelming game, underwhelming season. It's just I'm hoping that it doesn't end that way, right? I mean, the Braves lost too, right? So, you know, we'll see. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What'd you think? How'd you feel? How'd you feel about Kershaw this game? Think he's washed? Think he's still he's still good? It was just one of those games. Again, guys have bad games. Guys have moments. Guys get smacked. It happens, right? I don't want to put too much into it. Kershaw had a had a solid season. He wasn't like awful or seemed like a guy that was just complete wash this year. Um, but he's definitely not the guy he once was. And I hope Dave Roberts kind of realizes that. But again, love your thoughts and opinions. Let me know.